The NPE cable device, a very, very handy problem solver, which will convert any legacy Ant Plus only device into Bluetooth Smart. This tiny device here is brilliant if you're using Apple TV, an iPad or iOS as your indoor pain cave machine and using Zwift, Ruby, Sufferfest, Trainer Road with an older Ant Plus legacy device such as a power meter, a heart rate monitor or speed and cadence sensor. I'll put a link below in the video description showing the ins and outs of this from a few years ago. The principles are all still the same, but there's been a recent update which I think is worth covering today. In the past, to wake this unit up before every workout, you used to have to double tap or shake the unit. So the accelerometers would wake it up, it would then pair all your sensors and away you go. You connect to that as your Bluetooth device and ride on. The recent firmware update has changed that. It's now always on, which is really, really handy. The cable configuration app has been recently updated to the cable util. So be sure you're running this one here on iOS or Android. Flipping over here to the North Pole Engineering website, by the way, NPE stands for North Pole Engineering, and they list here the Cable Util is the new app name. We've got a few smaller updates there to the desired unit measurement, wheel circumference, but the ones I love are no more double tap to turn on, so the unit is always on with this firmware update. And the second update in this firmware that I like is the change your Bluetooth output name, so you can change the device name over Bluetooth. They list here that it's limited to five characters, so you can call it Zwift or m 2 b one There's also some new LED flash patterns for information and bug fixes. We always like bug fixes. Okay, for the update on my unit, I'm loading the Cable Util app. When it's nearby, it will connect to my cable, fetch the info, and it detected there's a firmware update that needed to be done. Update now and it runs through that process. So just speeding this up here as it pulls down the zip file and applies the latest firmware. Once done, it will then search for the cable and do a reset. The app then asks me, do I want to restore the sensor set? So yeah, I click on restore. It then goes through and does its thing, reconnects, fetching cable info again and should then have all my sensors there. Now, none of these are turned on at the moment, so I probably won't pick them up, but there we go. Now, go to the options here, and we can go down and change the name of the device. So currently called Cable, after the firmware update, we'll go change that to Llama C for Llama Cable. It will then do a reset, and up the top there, Llama C. It also has a greater than symbol. I'm not sure what that's about, but Llama C. Easy to identify, and away we go. And tapping on the cable on screen, it'll pull up the menu here, so you can see a number of different configuration options available there. But we are done for today. We just need to click on disconnect and go about the ride. So there we are, today's tip on the MPE cable. This thing will prolong the life of any legacy Ant Plus device, and it's a problem solver if you need to bundle all of those and do those connections to the Apple TV, which only allow, it's only two connections, isn't it? This gets around that too. So there we have it, the update now performed on my NPE cable, and it has a new name, Llama C, so it's easier to identify. It's Bluetooth low energy with that broadcast, so you should still get months and months out of that being always on. If you own one of these, make sure you pull out the app and do the update as you've seen here in the video. Or if you haven't got one of these and it will solve a problem in prolonging the life of that Ant Plus device you have, go and pick yourself up one of these. Links below in the video description. As always, be sure to subscribe to this channel to be alerted of new content as it's uploaded and hit that join button to become a member of the GP Llama YouTube channel to support this channel. Happy writing.